Alright, I think it's recording. Uh, for some reason, the Xbox recording thing that I'm using works better when there's a game on. I don't know how I got the last recording out, but I'm just gonna have this, uh, game in the background. Uh, anyways, today, I'm gonna be telling you guys about the history of the Brotherhood. And it's not the Fallout Brotherhood. Uh, so basically there's this park, uh, next to my house, and there's a bunch of friends I see in it, but I believe some of the names are, uh, you know what, never mind, uh, anyways, basically people were getting bullied in the park, and people were getting tired of it, so I came up with the idea of, pre um, preventing that by creating a, uh, anti-bullying group. And that's what the Brotherhood was, originally. I think a few of the first people to join it were Luca, Leo, and Shane. Shane was a good friend of mine. It's too bad. I don't even know if he's in the Brotherhood now. Uh, anyway, so that was the original Brotherhood. Uh, I think it started on August 7th, maybe? Anyways, uh, yeah. A lot of people supported it in the beginning. And eventually the bullying began to stop. I really liked the Brotherhood though, and I didn't want it to end, so I gave it a new purpose, as a state, and uh, we came up with our own name for the park, we called it Novara or something, uh, yeah, uh, we eventually put up flags too, paper flags, they didn't last long ago, uh, we put the first paper flag in Navarro, and after that flag was put up, the Brotherhood territorial ideas came into place. And that's where I came up with the idea of a crusade. Bas basically, the crusade was basically just put a bunch of flags everywhere and claim them as Brotherhood land. It was pretty stupid, but it was fun. Anyways, the Brotherhood got a lot of support from people, still, even after its purpose was odd. Anyways, uh, the first military leader of it was Lily. Uh, we almost got uh, a bit of a conflict with Aiden who still continued to bully people, although we managed to solve that diplomatically. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, although one of the bullies, I think his name was Ricardo, he enforced his will on a lot of people, but he would eventually become a hero of the Brotherhood. It's too bad he was a uh, bully though, but anyways, uh, yep, yeah, the Brotherhood got flags, more people started joining it, and it was good. Uh, I don't know when the Brotherhood Council was created, but, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, when Labor Day was setting in, on Labor Day, I believe, was when we launched the Great Crusade. Uh, yeah, we launched it, and, uh, we created a bunch of paper flags, we took duct tape with us, we put them up everywhere, and the day after Labor Day, it rained, and all the flags came down. And the original flag in Navarro also came down. It stayed up for a while and went through rain. But it came down after Labor Day. Uh, the Brotherhood didn't do very well after this. A lot of people probably took it as a sign that the Brotherhood was going to die. And uh, one of the other factions that existed before was the uh, Bucketheads. Pretty weird name. They were formed by Ben. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. They probably existed when the Brotherhood happened. And they sort of just got forgotten about when the Brotherhood claimed the park. But uh, there was sort of a little revolution they had about a few days after Labor Day. And when that happened, the Brotherhood sort of split apart. Uh, the Bucketheads, they took a bunch of land. They claimed that they would still be in the Brotherhood, but they didn't do much for it. And the Brotherhood collapsed eventually after Buckethead members would do it. There was a second order of the Brotherhood that would only last a couple hours until the Enclave was uh, formed. It was also inspired by Fallout. Um, so basically, the Enclave was pretty good. They uh, claimed the Emerald Valley, which was, uh, well, we call it the Emerald Valley. It used to be called Helios one from, again, Fallout. And uh, it was changed to the Emerald Valley after, after the Brotherhood's collapse. Um, some dudes in it 
decided to leave it and form the Emerald Valley Civilization. And, um, well, stayed actually not really a civilization, but, um, we made a deal with them where we, instead, we call it the Emerald Valley instead of Helios 1. And they accepted it too. And now that's Brotherhood Core territory. So, yeah. What happened next? Uh, after the, the, uh, Enclave only lasted for about six days until the Buckethead sort of took it over. Yeah, they started just bleeding us out of members, since a lot of people still didn't have support for their brotherhood. Anyways, after the Enclave collapsed, the idea of the brotherhood still existed, and uh, I continued the brotherhood with only me. And soon a new hero would arise, and that was Ricardo. He was a, one of the bullies from before, but he liked the Brotherhood, and he decided to assist it. And he would eventually assist the Brotherhood so well that the Bucketheads would eventually just give up, and they were defeated somewhere in, uh, I don't know, autumn maybe? Anyways, yeah, the Bucketheads collapsed. And, well, the Bucketheads after the war... A lot of people in the Bucketheads were future Brotherhood members. Lily was also part of them, and she was one of the first military leaders. It's unfortunate that she wouldn't rejoin it, but, uh, yeah, she did. And after the Bucketheads collapsed, many of its uh, members would remain factionless, as none of them would join anything. Anyways, uh, the Brotherhood did well. Ricardo, uh, he helped it very well. Anyways, after Ricardo helped it, there was some sort of fort after the bucket heads collapsed. And, uh, well, we decided to do some renovations. We tried to make it look better, but the bucket heads didn't like it. Well, their factionless members didn't like it. And, uh, we decided to make a deal with them where we'd exclude the Brotherhood from the fort's politics. Which means that we still can't mess with that area today, even though the fort's gone. I don't know why I added that in, it's pretty minor, but eh. Anyways, when the winter set in, the Brotherhood did not do well. Basically, no one would start coming to the park anymore after that one winter happened. And the Brotherhood sort of collapsed, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if the Brotherhood still exists, but if it does, there's a few members still in it. It's uh, me, Ricardo, the Trios Kids, and I think Aiden and, uh, what was his name? Uh, I forgot his name, but he betrayed the Brotherhood a bunch of times. Anyway, some additional history of the Brotherhood was, uh, there was an armor project where we tried to mimic power armor. But unfortunately, he didn't like the, my brother, who's, uh, supposed to be in charge of that. I think his name's Griff, maybe? Yeah. Anyways, um, he didn't like that. He decided to make different things for the Brotherhood. And I don't know if he's still doing that. Anyways, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much the history here. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it off.